Hi, this is Robin from Spokane, Washington. You're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on TJV with Diesel Weasel. Good morning, ladies and jelly beans. We are here in Missouri, just across the line from Tennessee. It's plus 16 degrees Celsius. I have started to move, so that means everyone else has also started to move. So if you had this sudden urge to suddenly get in your vehicle and get on the road, that was probably because uh, I, I'm on the road. How do I get out of here? This is the entrance, isn't it? Okay, if everybody's on the road, I probably shouldn't go out the entrance if I don't have to. Let's go this way. Make things more difficult for myself. Or else make things easier for myself rather than more difficult. Let's take the exit. Hopefully this guy finds his gear soon. And better than going too fast, but at the same time, come on, bud. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Find the gas pedal. Come on. There you go. That's a good spin. There you go. He's obviously busy, distracted, doing something. You know, you should finish everything you need to do before you start rolling away from the pumps. I don't know, just, just a thought. I think he's gonna turn right. You're not using your signal. I have no idea what you're doing. Now you're just sort of weaving around. You're not sure what you're doing either, are you? Okay, so you are turning left. Okay, thank you for not letting me know. It seems that a lot of people don't think that signals are necessary in a parking lot. I've said this before, but I'll say it again. You know, when I took my driver's test, I got points against me for not using my signals when leaving a gravel parking lot or when moving around in a gravel parking lot. And I didn't know then. I didn't think you had to use your signals in a parking lot. You know, you're on private property in a parking lot. Blah, blah. Yeah, I got points against me on my driver's test because I didn't signal that I was turning in a gravel lot. So. They do want you to do that, and it does help. He's not using his signals now either, so he's obviously one of those guys that just doesn't care. Or girls, or ladies. I was following a, a young woman in a car not too long ago who was weaving around, weaving in and out of traffic. You know, one of those like, I'm in a real hurry to get to my makeup appointment or my hair appointment. You know, one of those girls, she looked like she was uh, all dolled up for something. I don't know, she was doing her makeup while she was driving. Anyway, one of those, you know, one of those. And in and out of traffic, in front of me, like, cut in behind me once, went in front of me, suddenly she wanted to exit. Meters. Take the entrance to the ride on I-55 North US 61 and North. No one knew what she was doing because she wouldn't signal at all. She didn't even have her hands on the wheel for the most part. When she passed me, she was driving with her knee and doing her makeup in the rear view mirror. Who gives these kids licenses? No, they're gonna have to learn the hard way one day. And I hope that it doesn't result in their death. Meters, take the entrance to the ride on I-55 North US 61 North. I really hope they don't die. Because that, that doesn't teach them anything. <laughs> That's actually a terrible, terrible thing to happen. Maybe they'll just hit an icy patch when driving with their knee doing their makeup. And before they know it, you know, they're safely uninjured lying upside down in the ditch in the snow. Maybe that'll learn them. Probably not. I don't wish harm on anybody, but sometimes I wish people would this road for 120 kilometers. be taught a lesson by karma and other nature. Yeah, you don't, they don't have to get hurt, just scare them a bit. You know? Anyway, so here we are, we're on Interstate 55, mile marker 19, northbound going along the eastern edge of Missouri. Headed north, we're gonna cross into Canada and North Portal, Saskatchewan from Portal, North Dakota. 
and it's gonna be cold okay this is our last warm day so we're enjoying it we're having a bit of a party I bought some pizza they had barbecue chicken pizza at the pilot this day couldn't get any better aside from the fact that we're headed towards the snow well we're gonna take our time yeah oh yeah we're saving fuel people can go around me if they want to go faster I am in no rush soaking in all the sun I can get just pulled into a parking area here still in Missouri continue on this road for 138 kilometers I'm gonna walk the weasel and check my load securement we've been having this crazy crosswind of course as soon as we get onto the plains we're into Missouri here we get this huge crosswind right and uh, <laughs> really been testing my load securement looking at it back there nothing's moved from what I can see but I'm gonna get out and go and take a little closer look this wind has been crazy I can only imagine how bad it's gonna be once we get further north into the snow and ice can we just stay here do they really need this steel well it's all still here so that's a good sign Yep, nothing flew off. That's always good. It's always good. Yep, still here. Still here. Check on this side. Everything's still here. Nothing moved. All holding true. Good, 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 good. So this walk around is more so for your benefit. I'm gonna go around again and check all the tightness of these straps. Then we'll be on our way. It's starting to get colder, but there's no snow yet. We're on Avenue of the Saints in Missouri. Avenue is, I'm guessing that has something to do with Mormons, LDS. Is this the trail that they took out of St. Louis? When they, where'd they go? They went from St. Louis, what, up to Ohio? Or did they go straight over to Utah? Ah, oh, they've moved around quite a bit in the beginning years there. I know St. Louis was one spot where there was a lot of LDS activity at one point. Missouri, isn't that where Joseph Smith got, got assassinated or killed? I think that was in Missouri. Yeah, that was in Missouri, wasn't it? Somewhere here. That's probably what Avenue of the Saints is all about. That's what this highway is called. And it goes right through this town right here. Uh, whatever town this is. What does the sign say up above here? Keokuk, Iowa. This way. Okay, we'll go towards Keokuk, Iowa. We're almost at the border with Iowa, I think. Maybe another hour or so. Just slowly meandering our way north, no rush. I'm perfectly fine driving on the dry pavement with no snow on it. I've seen pictures from back at home. We didn't get as much snow as Newfoundland Labrador, but we got a good foot or so, two feet maybe. Britt sent me pictures of Chevy playing around in the snow. And it looked like we got quite a bit. Our guy that we have clear our yard came and cleared our yard again. We got some pretty big snow hills from it. It's got those lights on off to the left. Oh, there we go. I turned them on. It still blows my mind that the U.S. does not have federally mandated driving lights like it, that come on automatically when you start moving the vehicle. It's, it's up to them. Yeah, I don't know if we'll have. I don't. I think we'll have snow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull over and stop in the next hour or two. I think I'd like to make it a little bit further. But we have 3,022 kilometers left to go to our destination. That's three days of driving, 30 hours of driving, and uh, we have three days to get there. So we could do it from here. I just didn't want to be in that big of a rush, you know. I'll probably keep going. I'm still halfway through uh, my evening coffee here. So I'll probably go a few hours yet. I'll go till I till I can't go anymore. 
what does this sign say here? Hannibal LaGrange. Is that, no, that's the university. Hannibal University? Oh, is that what this city's called? Hannibal. Okay. You have three hours and 48 minutes of remaining drive time. Okay, so maybe we'll go another three hours or so. We'll see. Coming up to our resting place, if there's a parking spot. I believe this is Mount Pleasant, Iowa. It is minus 16 Celsius outside, which means we started off the day... 400 meters, turn left on, oh, Karen. East Winfield I know, I don't want to talk RH about it either. Approaching destination on the left side in 90 meters. So that means we started off the day at plus 16 Celsius, and we're ending off the day at minus 16 Celsius. And we still have three days to drive north yet. Oh, it's gonna be cold. There's snow and ice everywhere. Hey, yeah, as soon as we crossed the Iowa line, it just got crazy. It just got crazy. This is a parking spot there. Nope, that guy took up two spots. All right, very nice of you. There are parking spots around here. Yeah, I just don't want to park in them because I don't trust these people. loops and see if we can find a spot that I feel comfortable with. We sort of had to make a spot today, or last night I meant. So, so the next morning here, I just went straight to bed. It was cold. It only said it was minus 16 Celsius, but that wind makes it feel like it's a lot colder. And it's just as cold today. It's amazing how the temperature changed as soon as we hit Iowa. Missouri had no snow. Iowa? What you doing, man? What you doing, Iowa? You're messing with my emotions. Look at this. Even the weasels had enough. It's cold, you man. Freeze my paws off. I know, right? So I guess we're going to end today's vlog here because we got to start tomorrow's vlog. I don't know how much we filmed yesterday. This whole week has kind of been a little bit uh, sketchy with the footage because remember I had that audio problem and then yesterday uh, we sort of split the day in half. Today let's make a full day of it so that'll be tomorrow's vlog. Tune in tomorrow for that. It'll be a full day's vlog from morning to evening. We're hoping to make it to Fargo, North Dakota from here. It's about 500 miles I think or something. We'll see. We still have three, just under 3,000 kilometers to go yet, which is three days of driving, 1,800, <clears throat> 1800 miles or so. So let's get, let's get some behind us. Let's, let's get out there. I'll see you guys tomorrow.